to another painting and today I'm going to do a still life. Now people um, often ask me why don't you do a still life Steve? Actually they don't but um, it's been a long time since I've done one. I mean I've, I've done a few over the years um, and I haven't done one for ages so I thought I'd just like to do something with a bit, I don't know, maybe a bit less pressurising so I thought I would indulge in a bowl of fruit healthy if nothing else so that's what I'm going to do now the photograph I'm using was taken a sort of a late afternoon with sunlight coming in through the window and there's a lot of contrast in this paint in this in the photograph and uh, I thought it would, I thought it would be an interesting uh, painting to do because of the the extremes of contrast that I'm going to have to use so the first thing what I'm going to do is, rather than start with a, uh, a white canvas, I'm actually going to put a wash of very dark colour on and let the light come through. So that's what I'm going to start with. So I've got some, um, some black paint and sort of dark red and oranges in there. I'm going to mix it up and, uh, and let's see what happens. So we're going to start, it's not quite black, I don't want it to be completely black, but I want the, the, the darkness of the photograph to really come through on this. There we go, one you might not be able to see on the on the uh, camera, but it's sort of it's not quite intensely black. There is sort of a, an orange, a warmness to it that I hope um, you can see there. Okay, that's um, step number one over. That was easy. It's a nice easy start to a painting. I want it to be a fun painting. So that's the start. What I'm going to do now is give it because it's acrylic. It dries very quickly, so I'm going to give it a little while just to just to dry. So what I've done uh, to start with is I've very quickly just scratched on, just with a pencil, I've just scratched on um, roughly an outline of where what's going on in the painting. It's, it's very rough, you might not be able to pick it up, but I've just scratched on while the paint is still sort of semi-dry or semi-wet, where the things are going to be roughly within the painting. It all looks a bit scary at the moment but um, hopefully it'll all come right in the end but that's a start anyway so I'm just the, the paint's nearly dry still a few damp patches so I'm just going to let it dry out completely um, before I take it any further so on the bright background part I'm using a bit of raw sienna mixed with the white and this is sort of I'm at the moment just I'm just dabbing on where the highlight. Now this is the part where the intense sunlight is just coming in through the window. losing some of that intense black that we had to start with. So I'm going to just start with the very background fruit. And I'm going to put on the darkest colour first, which in this case Is orange and it's sort of in the shadows so I'm going to leave that at least part of it is because it's being there's a few shadows a 
few oranges in here, so I'm just gonna. Okay, it's all about the layers at the minute. I'm just slowly building up layers. Still looks a bit shitty at the minute, but. Okay. I think I'll do a bit of work around it now. Um, and just build up. It's giving me a rough idea of where everything's going to be looks very rudimentary it's that messy stage of the painting that I hate so much that I'm um, I always talk about the messy the messy point in the painting where it just looks like a complete oof. so um, I'm going to just let thing let paint dry for a little bit and um, I might do a bit of surrounding now because it looks very dark at the moment so I'm just going to, if I add a few more bits and bobs around the outside of it I might sort of uh, make the painting lift a little bit. So I've just added a few more details, just put a, a few layers of paint on some of the fruit. Um, I've put a layer of paint on the cloth that the bowl was on and included a few suggestions of creases. So it's coming together. I'm going to do a bit more work on the, it's still very dark as you can see it's a very dark painting. So I'm going to put a wee bit more light into it now because um, Actually, the rim of this is a beautiful uh, ceramic bowl that I was given by a friend who was going back to Mexico. And she was getting rid of a lot of stuff that she didn't want to take back with her. And among them was this beautiful fruit bowl. I hope I can do it justice. It's um, beautiful. Anyway, that's what I'm going to do now. So the tablecloth that's on there has got some very interesting little motifs on it which I really love. Okay, I'm just adding some detail to the um, the design of the bowl. God, I'm going to need a steady hand for this, so I'm just going to hold my hand.
what's next? I need to make that more orangey. One of the oranges has got a little smiley face on it, little, just a little label, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to put that on the painting. I'm going to sort of put it around here. It just adds a little bit of character. Still lifes can be very boring, but it just adds a little, just a little something, just a tiny little, just a little quirky little extra, if you like. And I quite like the thought of that, so I'm going to, I'm going to throw that in there. Um, So of course as an amateur artist you think okay you brighten a colour just to add white but of course that doesn't work it actually makes it it can actually make it look worse what you do is if you have the colour wheel beside you um, you add the colour up the cut up the, uh, the next stage up the colour wheel and that gives you hopefully a brighter shade of whatever colour it is that you're wanting to paint. And for a shadow or a dull colour, you add the opposite colour on the colour wheel, which supposedly gives you the gives you the shadow colour. And I have to say it does work. Um, I've just been adding bits and pieces to it. I realised I was talking away and uh, I hadn't switched the camera on. It's always a bad idea. Um, okay, so I've just added a few bits and pieces to um, the painting, as you can see. Um, I'm going to put a label. There's a little, on the original um, photograph, I quite like it actually, there's a little label attached to the oranges with little faces on them, and I thought it might add a little bit of um, personality to the fruit, which can't be a bad thing. So I'm going to do, I'm going to put that in there. But it's starting to come together now. I'm quite pleased with it. Um, yeah, there's a few other little bits and pieces of, of tidying up more than anything else. A bit of housekeeping. Make sure everything looks good. And uh, then we'll call it a day. I mean, it's only meant as a, a fun painting. I didn't want to sort of um, dwell on it or turn it into a big, epic, um, you know, hugely important painting or anything. It's just more for fun than anything else so I think I'm just going to yeah I'm just going to add little bits and bobs now I think we're in the, the final throws of the painting just a few details here and there and uh, and hopefully it'll look good I hope right I need a little I'm going to need a steady hand for this There we go. Right, well, I think, I think that's it finished. I think, I think I've taken it as far as I'm going to take it. It was only meant as a fun little thing to do anyway. It wasn't meant to be, um, you know, a very serious painting in that sense. I just wanted to play around with colours and, and, uh, and light and contrast and all that sort of stuff and shadows and highlights and all that malarkey so i think i'm pleased with the results so i'll uh, i'll call it a wrap so thanks for watching and join me again soon